needs like Peppa Pig. I, I didn't get it in time. Oh, yeah, I missed it. Daddy was doing the waiting for the elevator dance and he thought I caught him, but I didn't. Bless me. Is it? Right. Yeah, we definitely need some of those. Let's get these black ones. They're neither boring nor good. Yeah, everybody can pick out a notebook that you like. I just need one for that. Power picking. I picked the one that had the most pieces of paper in it. We're getting some quiet activities for the kids to do while we're in the conference. Yeah, I got the rainbow one. Did you? Yeah. Look, Dad. I got the rainbow. There's the little one up here. Here, you can do that. Because it's blank in the middle. It was easy. Oh, my God. Good job. I think we could get some, yeah, we could get some, I got pins that are colored, but we could get some glue sticks and some scissors. Maybe you should take it up to the register again. Mommy, you come it down, we can't find it. That's the iron rodent. And you can give me a unicorn pen. Okay, well, I'm not buying that. If you want that, you need to have your own money, okay? But mom, we need pens. I already have pins that are all different colors for everyone. Get a couple of different packs of those. Get two more, like one of each set of colors again. They have some colored permanent marker. That's not a good idea. <laughs> no, it's not. Never mind. Got a Slimy jump. This second button. There's another sticker book. Can you buy? All right, you can get that, and Sophia, you can get the unicorn pin. Eden, would you help her go get it? Learn how to draw Ooh, cartoon characters. That would be cool. And then these are adult activity books. It worked nice. This is just a drawing pad. I don't know if you want to get that, but it has no lines. The kids are looking for them. Mom, I see. And this is a Sudoku. I thought maybe Ash. Mom, the unicorn. Okay. So, Mom, I don't You're gonna think you're no malos because you guys upside down. Yeah. I'm sorry, bud. Already know the black and yellow up there. So take a look at your snacks. There is coffee.
doing with technology. Yeah. Yeah. You will learn things here. Friendships here. You know, our philosophy has always been to tell me what the scriptures say. It doesn't really matter what our background is. Thomas went back to the hotel with Miss Hannah because she was being so acutely noisy, so I didn't think that was appropriate. So we sent him back to hang out of the hotel. We still have some people coming in. That's great. We appreciate that so very much. We've got a really good looking audience. Look, good looking crowd tonight, and we do appreciate that. We've got a good audience on the live stream. We appreciate that. And of course, the wonderful thing about the live feed is that it will continue to be being able for people to be able to view it from now on. That foresees a future time in which Christ surrenders his throne. Of necessity is preaching the end of his... I was taught that the last days were the Christian age. They started on the day of Pentecost. I believed and taught that for years and years and years. I began to encounter problems scripturally with that view. Christ's new covenant will never go out of business. And that means we're not living in the last days. Logical predictions of the day of the Lord. Here's what this means. The song of Moses is about the Israel's last days. Receiving the salvation of your soul. The Holy Spirit sent down from God. Things are predicting, but he said, we are revealing them to you. Um, he just has bought some new balls for us because our other ones got pops, the other big ones, so he bought them for the Dollar Tree. Okay, let's just go to the pool and I'll blow them up. Channel, your channel up on there. Oh, really? Like, is Adrian on the kids there?